Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, thanks for joining me. Today it's market day, so we're talking cameras. We're talking 5D Mark III and we're talking 6D Mark II. So let's go shopping. Well, that was not exactly camera shopping. That's some of the food at the Lunar New Year market in Taipei. Um, it's set up ahead of Chinese New Year, which is taking place in a week or so. So, cameras. For me, when a new camera comes out, I probably don't know about it. I don't read the blogs, I don't read the reviews, I don't follow the rumor sites or anything like that. For me, the only reason to buy a new camera is that my current camera is either broken or it's not meeting the needs for my clients. I've been a full-time commercial editorial photographer for the best part of a decade now and one of the key things is to make my clients happy. As long as my camera can do that I'm happy and I would rather put my money into other areas of my business or of my life. So the last camera upgrade I did was when I bought the 5D Mark III five and a half six years ago. The reason I upgraded then, um, I had a 5D Mark II as my main camera, um, was that my backup body at the time was only 12 megapixels and the new service I was shooting for brought in a 16 megapixel minimum requirement. So my backup body wouldn't cut it. As a professional photographer, you have to have a backup that will do the job if your main camera goes down. You cannot turn up with just one camera. So I got the 5D Mark III, the 5D Mark II became my backup. But still today, for the kind of work that I do, the 5D Mark II photographs are perfectly fine. They meet all of the needs of my clients and they meet all of the needs of my personal shooting as well. Um, so 5D Mark III is the main camera, 5D Mark II is the backup. I've shot a couple of jobs actually on the Mark II this year already because my 5D Mark III has run into problems. Um, I took it into Canon, they took a look at it and there's something with the electrical circuitry that has gone wrong. And it would require a fairly pricey fix. Um, I've used it a lot, it's way north of the recommended shutter count. so. If I was going to get it repaired, I would get a shutter replacement as well. When you add up the cost of the circuitry and the shutter replacement, I'm running at about 50-60% to 60 of the cost of the 6D Mark II. So, I asked a few friends in the uh, P52 Collective what their opinions were. None of them are gearheads either, they're also the same. Do what works, make the clients happy, get images you're happy with. And they pretty much unanimously said, go the new camera. So I did that. I may still get the 5D Mark III repaired and then uh, either use it as an extra backup um, or possibly sell it on the used market. Um, but for now, the 6D Mark II is my main camera. I've used it so far for three uh, commercial jobs um, and a little bit of video testing uh, here and there, which you're seeing in this video um, down at the Lunar New Year markets. Um, I gotta say, it's uh, photo-wise, I can't really see any difference between it and the 5D Mark III. It's a little bit higher resolution, three, four megapixels more. That doesn't really matter. I'm shooting a lot of stuff for social these days. 
um, maybe a magazine page, full page spread or a double truck spread is the biggest I'm going to go. So whether it's 23 megapixels or 26 megapixels or 30 megapixels of the 5D Mark IV, it really doesn't matter for the work that I'm doing. Um, one of the things that did concern me a little bit was the single uh, memory card on it. it just takes one SD card. I had become used to having two for redundancy on the 5D Mark III. However, a lot of the time I'm shooting tethered, so it doesn't really matter about the memory cards. In, in Capture One it just goes straight through to the hard drive. It doesn't write it to the card. So that's not such a big issue. Um, I shot some work for uh, Yahoo just the other day and so I just rotated memory cards so that if I did run into a problem with a memory card I would still have plenty of images. I made sure I had enough on each card. I went through three or four just rotating them throughout the day and they all work so it's not a problem but it gives me that redundancy so that's not such a big deal. Uh, some of the things that I've heard as well regarding the video is the lack of 4K. Again, I'm not really doing much video and what I'm doing it's for small businesses or for per people's personal use where they're using it on their Instagram or on their Facebook. As long as, long as they're getting some video that's going to look good on Instagram or on Facebook, they're happy. Uh, a lot of these people don't know about the resolution to video. It's just like, okay, make me a video. So 4K, not such a big deal for me at the moment. If a job does come along that requires 4K, then I can just rent a camera for the actual job. So far, less than two weeks with the 6D Mark II. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm using it now to record this. Um, it's kind of good because I can flip the little tilt swivel screen around and actually see myself, which is a lot easier to do than what I was doing before when I was filming on a 5D Mark III for anything. Yeah, I know they're starting to market this a bit as a vlogging camera now. Um, I don't know if that's a reaction to a lot of people expecting more of it at the beginning. Um, but I'm happy with it. It's only been two weeks, as I said, less than two weeks actually. Um, maybe 12 days now I've had this camera. I've already shot three jobs in it. It's good. I'm going to continue having fun with it. For me, you don't need the latest and greatest you need the camera that works. I would rather put my money towards marketing or some travel to get some new images to chase a story, um, hiring crew or equipment for a bigger shoot. All of those I think are better uses of my money than getting a new camera every time something comes out. Because to be honest for the past 10 years or so since probably the 5D Mark II I think just about every full frame camera that has come out from any manufacturer uh, is going to be perfectly fine for professional use. One question that I was asked was why I didn't move up to the 5D Mark IV. I've shot with um, the full range of 5Ds so far, um, but the 6D Mark II seems to be about 90% of the camera that the 5D Mark IV is, but it's only half the price. Those extra things on the 5D Mark IV, um, the 4K video, the extra resolution, uh, slightly faster autofocus, and so on, they're not really deal breakers for me. They're not, I don't need them so much. Um, the way I shoot, the 6D Mark II seems to be doing well. Yeah, so that's kind of my thoughts on it. So let's go back to the market. Um, don't forget to subscribe, uh, follow my Instagram. Um, Check out some of the links below to the P52 Collective that I'm a member of. I will make a video talking about that um, again sometime in the future. And if there's anything you want to see, drop a note in the comments and let me know. Alright, thank you.